Good morning, humanity. Or perhaps it might be afternoon, evening, or the middle of the night, wherever you are. We are broadcasting from the epicenter of human unity from Oroville in southern India. My name is Fifth, your hostess with the mostess, and also the co founder of Medi Clown Academy, where we are creating a healthy, happy India for all, sharing love, laughter, joy, and play. After all, India knows love. It is 34 years ago today that Hamish, the love of my life, and I first met. And it's very interesting because we've always had a small little argument about the date. He says we first met on July 16th, and I say, "Uh, uh, 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 uh-uh-uh-uh-uh, we met on the 17th. Now, who would have thought that 34 years later, he would be in a lockdown situation in Canada, where it is the 16th, and I would be in Oroville where it's the 17th. So during this pandemic, it is true. He is where it is the 16th, and I am where it is the 17th. And it's the first time in all those years that we have been apart for this length of time. You know, people ask us, what has kept us together for so long? That's a long time for a couple of actors and artists. Well, for anyone, actually. On one hand, it was probably sheer stubbornness. And on the other hand, it's the most beautiful, deepest love, respect, sense of humor, and appreciation that we have for each other. Now, it hasn't always been easy, uh uh-uh, but it's always, has not always been fun, but it's always been an adventure, an adventure into consciousness and the unconsciousness. And today I am so deeply grateful for all those times that have led me to a greater awareness and consciousness of who I am now and this amazing person that I am becoming. Long before I actually met him in the flesh, I would look at this 8 by 10 photograph every day, not knowing that this guy with the Jimmy Dean, you know, that actor from the 1950s, that Jimmy Dean kind of look with a cheesy smile. But I knew that this guy would be my teacher. I had come back to Edmonton. I was living in Vancouver at the time. I'd come back to Edmonton in Canada to do a reshoot of an Indian film that I was starring in. After the filming, my best friend begged me to stage manage her show at the Edmonton Fringe Festival. I said, yeah, 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 fine, sure. If you help me find a place to live, I'll do it. Well, there was a room available in this house where many actors over the years had stayed. And this is where I saw this amazing 8x10 photograph, the mugshot of this actor, Hamish Boyd, who... At the time, I didn't know, but eventually I would fall in love with. On this day, I had an audition at a regional theater. Now, ladies, oh, maybe guys too. If you're anything like me, when you have a job interview or a date or whatever, the clothes come out of the closet and they're all over the bed and you can't decide what you want to wear. And then I had my audition piece and other pieces of paper and my journal all over the desk. So it was a bit of a mess. So normally we tell the story together, but today it's completely my version. So I was in the shower and I was doing vocal warm ups, just and I was madly doing them away and singing as most actors do before a performance or audition. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to me, Hamish had arrived. By the way, this was his parents' home where he had grown up. He had moved to Toronto, but he had come back here to Edmonton to do his master's in playwriting. He's an amazing actor and a writer and a musician too. Anyway, as I mentioned, uh, I had come back to do a reshoot. So As I was in the shower doing my vocals, he was bringing down his first load of books. Then he turned into his bedroom and he noticed it was full of clothes. And he shrugged and he turned and went into the other bedroom, which was one of his sister's bedrooms. Then he went up to get another box of books. Meanwhile, I had finished my shower and my vocals. And with a towel wrapped around my head and another one around my body... I opened the bathroom door. 
just at that moment, Hamish was standing there right in front of the door, looking at me. I screamed, ah, and dropped my towel. And Hamish screamed and dropped his box of books at his feet. And that's how we first met. And we have been roommates, friends, and lovers. And then after that, 11 years after that, a married couple. As I said in the beginning, it hasn't always been easy, but I am so blessed to be in this beautiful, amazing relationship that's filled with funness, adventure, laughter, creativity, respect, appreciation, and a very, very, very deep love. And so even though we are apart, we are together in our heart. And thank God for FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, the telephone. We are together and we can see each other. So even though it makes me very sad, I can still feel the love that comes through from these waves. So um, please tell us your stories Please share with us your comments of how you met your partner, husband, the person of your dreams, or maybe how you're going to meet the person of your dreams and how you keep your love alive. You're going to hear a little more about what Hamish and I do to keep our love alive. We do a lot of laughing, but we'd love to hear from you. So until next time, we invite you to laugh, love your life. It makes it a whole lot easier to live in a life that you love, and especially when you love yourself. See you next week. <laughs>